गुड मॉर्निंग सर यस गुड मॉर्निंग सर हाउ आर यू या फाइन थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग एंड हाउ आर यू आई एम आल्सो गुड and sir we are meeting first time also we don't know properly each other and who, uh, who are you where are you from and first of all please introduce yourself yes uh, i know i know little bit about you your name is santonu and you are from purulia district calcutta sorry west bengal yes 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 because uh, when i see that uh, most of time you are just uh, uh, send this video by uh, skype group like conversational yes. video so yes i remember that many time i see so yes so my introduction let me tell you my introduction uh, i am from odisha and i am working in a private company jindal power and steel the contractor basis job i am doing and about my qualification i have done graduation uh, in bachelor of arts with english honors since 2018 and uh, my hobbies is uh, watching cricket and uh, watching movie also yes yes it is nice in that sense also for you and uh, and sir uh, you are working person but uh, how long have you been working it's been one year i am working i have been working in this profession like this plant and this company but before i was working a different sector So yeah, after left my job since I joined here. Yes, yes. And may I introduce? Can I introduce myself? Definitely. Yes, yes. First of all, thank you for giving this wonderful opportunity to introduce myself in front of you. I am Santanu Das. I am from West Bengal. By professional, I am working person. I work in a hospital as an attendant. And if I talk about my education qualification, I have completed my graduation in mathematics subject. and if i uh, if i talk about my hobbies i always like playing cricket and football apart from also i am running my one youtube channel whose name is english with sg that's all about me okay 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 good good very good introduction that you gave okay so tell me what is the need of skype your yes skype name no no what is the need of skype why are you using this application yes yes actually i have been using this application about 5 months and earlier also i used to use uh, many application uh, for audio call purpose hi bro experience cv this kind this kind of application i used to use for my audio call purpose but right now also i am using this application and uh, for uh, uh, for 5 months for my improving my english skill actually uh, when you talk with video call at that time also i i contact and body language is very uh, very good uh, important for speaking english yeah it is also necessary yeah that's why also i have been using this application okay 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 but good uh, so does your profession demand this language no no yes did you repeat your question okay does your profession demand to speak in english in your company like in your hospital no 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 i work in a hospital uh, and it is near my house it is it is rural hospital i belong to i belong to village area and uh, it is rural hospital and no one speaking english in our locality no one speaking english at our home there is no and there is no uh, good environment for speaking english yeah but i am uh, uh, i am learning english because there are many reason also and number one is uh, english is an international language as well as the communication language to communicate each other to communicate other country of people english is necessary english is need for language also right now also you are from uh, urissa you have own native language but i don't know your native language but i have a, i i am from west bengal i have another native language but you don't know my native language that's why also after learning english we are talking each other we are connecting each other that's why also english is connecting language yeah and number on the other hand english is a professional language whenever you go to the interview for taking a good job in a multinational company first of all the interviewer asks the question in english yeah that's why also english is very necessary and needful language also right now but i am learning english because there are there, there is another reason because when i was starting in my school life when i was starting in class a standard and ninth standard at that time my english was not good and at that time i was always scared of the english subject and at that time also i did not know how to make a sentence in english yeah but in this time i am working person and whenever i get free time i always try to learn english in this time also i can 
write properly. There is no problem in my writing, but I cannot speak properly. That's why also I am practicing right now. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so when I see your DP, like your uh, picture, profile picture on YouTube, that time you are just looks like uh, different. And when I see just now, I see the in front of me that you are just in video through this video call, you are just look like different. Yes, yes. This picture also uh, four years ago. Yeah, this picture was oh. four years, four years ago. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's why. Sir, when did you start? Sir, when did you start your English speaking journey? Ah, uh, it's been one year since I started my journey. So first, I used to ah uh, use uh, S Fluence application. And this application new for me because uh, last three months I installed this application and started using. And not I am not frequently use the video calling um, because uh, most of the people, most of the user in this application, in this group, they are not prefer yeah. to take video call. They are always comfortable with audio call. So that kind yeah, of yeah. complexity is so and so yeah. Sometimes it's happen like video call. If somebody interested to have a video call with you, then it's okay. But you cannot force with anyone. And sir, uh, right now, so you are working person, but in which purpose are you learning? Uh, learning English. What is the reason behind it? Okay, it is a good question for me. So actually, uh, my previous job, there is, uh, uh, you know, there is uh, some when I interacted with our. Uh, a senior people senior person our higher authority you can say the higher management so those people are also communicating with us uh, that english language and that time i did not understand what they are saying and uh, properly i could not make a correct sentence and since then i started so why should not i uh, focus on my communication journey so since then i started through how to learn and how to speak it's been uh, more than one year that uh, in my journey my journey yes you can say and still i am along this language because uh, it's it i am happy situated in this language and it become my hobby part of my life so that's why i don't escape with this profession yes yes and sir you are, you belong to uh, odisha and what is the native language odia yeah and do you know bengali language Bengali, I understand little bit, but I cannot speak. But, uh, but sir, how many languages do you know? I know only three languages. Uh, my mother tongue is Odia and Hindi and English, third language. Yes, yes. And right now, sir, also you are speaking very well. There is no doubt. And right now, so you are speaking English. And after learning English, are you happy in your life? Definitely, I will be very happy after learning this language because it it is my small, not a small goal. It I can say it is uh, my big goal that after fluent in this language, uh, it is my small desire to. I want to open a YouTube channel also. After be fluent, if I started now, now open this uh, YouTube channel, maybe some question I have to face, and some of guys are just uh, asking, maybe asking me some different question, and I have to get them. The correct answer. If I wrong, that time if I if I give wrong, then what they think that the person is not good in English and even uh, however and is open a YouTube channel. So it is very bad thing for me. It would be very bad thing for me. So that's why I just keep consistency. After I think six seven months, definitely I will open. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And there you have been learning English about uh, one year. And uh, earlier, did you join any coaching center? Did you join any institute for your speaking English? No, 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 no. I just if if I give my gratitude and my uh, my deepest gratitude, uh, so definitely I will give uh, the experience application another YouTube and uh, second and third uh, it my dedication i can say because without dedication without without putting effort you cannot learn anything you cannot achieve anything so that i believe hard work is the most uh, like the important key up to success it can make you toward the success yes yes you are right also okay, practice is the most important key yeah and english is, is not my mother tongue it is second language 
and to learn this language always you have to uh, take you have to take time yeah okay so tell me then, how uh, is your youtube channel? youtube channel yeah my channel is going on very good there is no problem yeah i have been running my youtube channel about 5 months oh 5 months good i think uh, okay so how many subscriber do you have right now i uh, about 800 plus oh 800 subscriber do you have it is a very short yeah. period and you have you have you have achieved the so many subscriber oh it is significant yes yes <laughs> yes yes and sir uh, and, and sir i am asking one question do you have any friend do you have any partner who is willing to learn english in your locality no no there is no any one that uh, whom with whom i can do my practice every day there is no one i am only practicing through this application so yeah it is uh, i can technology help me a lot yeah. and sir when uh, when you started your english speaking journey and at that time what kind of method did you follow for you for your improving your english skills okay 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 what kind of strategy i had to follow okay so speaking little bit speaking initially like the best things how to structure sentence how to make the, how to make understand the another person who is listening to you so that kind of things i just initially days just slowly slowly i learn the simple simple story i used to read the children story after that i watch conversational video through youtube because there are several kind of video you can find different different youtuber they are just bring their own channel own content and their own conversational video also so i frequently i used to i used to watch those kind of video and slowly slowly i learn yes i can say and sir i am asking you one question and uh, uh, right now also you are speaking very well and before speaking english have you completed uh, the grammatical rules no only first i learn uh, like uh, grammatical you can say tenses like uh, full tenses i completed uh, like um, i have to i have to take time that time i think one month within one month i have completely learned Ah, uh, tenses, all the tenses. After that, I learn how to make sentence and uh, what is the um, uh, what is the verb one from second form, third form, first from second form, third form, and uh, how to how what is modal and uh, what is uh, yes. used like the some phrasal verb one, some ah uh, you you can say some phrasal verb, so something something yes. like. Uh, i don't go deeply the uh, grammar rules to learn grammar rules and i don't go deeply the advanced vocab to learn advanced vocab because i i don't want to learn advanced vocab it is a very use it is used very shortly and those people are using those are good commando those have good commando and those are like the instructor and the mentor those are using because all are 90% people don't understand what is the advanced vocab and advanced phases yes, yes. you know yes, that's why yes, i don't want right. to learn any vocab any fancy word also i don't want to learn yes yes and sir uh, uh, where do you live village area or city area in odisha it is village area yes yes and sir uh, i also belong to village area i belong to village area and when i was starting in my school life my school was bengali medium school yeah that's why also uh, and when i was starting in my school life that time my english was not good and that's why also i don't have a lot of vocabulary yeah and uh, uh, while speaking i get stuck lack of vocabulary yeah and uh, do you do you follow uh, do you follow any rules for improving your vocabulary skill any rules yes yes, yes. i follow some rules like uh, there are uh, you know some instructor and some mentor they are just always saying that uh, it is four parts like four pillar you have to you have to make strong if you make strong your four part then you you will achieve very soon you you can reach your destination very soon i can so definitely for my prosperity and for my perfection so first uh, reading 
one reading and uh, two writing and listening speaking so two things i am always doing but reading and yes. uh, writing is uh, i am also doing like 15 minute reading 15 minute 15 minute writing but if uh, some day i have a lot of work that time i just uh, left i just leave le- reading and uh, writing almost i just gave uh, give to a minute for speaking maybe if i uh, if i have much time then 40 minutes one hour i give to my speaking part Uh, yeah you also practice every single day one hour yes yes one hour and sir when did you join in this in this application actually i think uh, two and a half months uh, before since i joined yes 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 and uh, every single day how many session do you take uh how many session two session it is enough for me if that person is talking about me uh, talking with me like uh, more than 20 minutes like 25 minutes so this two t- two session is enough because if you equal two session it is almost 15 minutes maybe one hour so one hour is uh, better for speaking there is no any yes, yes. doubt on yes yes and sir uh, right now also you are learning english you are working person and apart from also what do you do in your spare time in your free time I free time uh, like uh, I I love to interact with my some friends my those are my close nearest my heart those friends I love to interact with them by the through this phone and uh, some of my friend when I when I come to my village I love to spend I love to spend some time with my friends and my family and my some my neighbor some uh, people are also my close they are also my uh, close to my heart also so i love to spend time with them so that kind of activities and some fun with them i and uh, i just uh, i want to travel also i love to travel i have a, one bike and i have to go like some time if i um if i go like some distance uh, in order to buy something so definitely i with my bike and some people like some some of my friend together we are always uh, used to go that place in order to buy something and even any work i have so yeah yes yeah. and sir you also like uh, traveling but uh, how many states did you visit in our country our country i think one state right. i have visited uh, and it is chatisgarh chatisgarh but when did you go there actually uh, that time it was 2018 and one of my friends uh, having their job that time there so and he is working still he is working also the same company it is sri cement plant and i had gone that 2018 but i stayed in 18 days almost there but uh, due to some problem like there is uh, um and uh, sometime you what you have to eat like you have to take your uh, breakfast 10 o'clock and you have to take your dinner 2 o'clock 1 o'clock maybe 3 o'clock and when it comes to dinner uh, after finishing your duty you have to make your dinner like at that time 10:30 if you start 10:30 then it will close but it will be finished uh, 11:30 maybe and after that you have to take your dinner like 12 o'clock so that kind of activities i did not i did not so i did not like so i leave my job in satisgarh i came back to odisha yeah yes yes uh, actually yeah. actually job purpose also you went there yeah yeah only job purpose and sir few minutes ago uh, uh, you have told me you also like watching cricket and sir uh, who is your favorite cricketer Uh, there are several kind of cricketer my favorite there is no one i can say those people are those person are uh, just asking me what is your favorite food what is your favorite cricketer so i can say i say them one one word i don't have any favorite color i don't have any favorite food i don't have any favorite cricketer anything that i can say because all are my favorite yes And sir, you also like watching cricket, and do you like playing cricket? Yes, I used to play uh, in my initial like uh, my schooling time. 
during my college period also but nowadays uh, i don't get time also there is some junior player are playing and i feel hesitate to play with along with them so that's why i did not prefer to go to this field yes yes i also really like playing cricket and football but when i was studying at my college at the same time i was playing uh, in the morning time also every single day i used to play football and in the afternoon time i used to play cricket but right now also i don't play cricket and football because i don't get free time but whenever i get free time i i always go to the playground but right now also only for chatting with friends yeah Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so apart from that, uh, any what kind of any uh, any kind of activities do you follow? Do you love to do? Ah, uh, for my improving your English skill. No, 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 not improving your English skill. I am saying that uh, apart from this, uh, like uh, watching cricket and playing volleyball, football, whatever that. Any other activities? If there are any other activities, do you follow? No, 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 no. I always like playing cricket and football also. And uh, but right now, so I am working person. I yeah, yeah, I work in a hospital as an attendant, and I have to. Uh, and uh, I am a family member. I uh, I have a lot of work in my family. And right now, so I am mm. learning English. Yeah, I have been running my YouTube channel, and that's uh, that's why also I don't get free time. Yeah. Okay, you are also married person. Yes, I am married person, and. Uh, There are four members in my family: my mother, my wife, one of the kids. She is my daughter, and me. And how many members do you have in your family? My family also four member. Uh, there are four member in my family, including myself. And my father is a farmer. My mother is a homemaker. And my younger brother is uh, like they are just working in con- construct building. You can say. Yes. And yes. So, uh, or you are just uh, living. And so tell me, uh, um, like, uh, what as of your uh, the children uh, is a girl or daughter? Yes, yeah, she is my daughter, and right now she is uh, three and half years old. Uh, sir, it was nice conversation with you. You are also speaking very well. I have learned a lot of things from you. Yeah, and you are also speaking very well. Uh, today that's enough. All right, sir. Nice to meet you. Take care. Bye bye. Have a good day. From your hilarious love and uh, significant comments, so. It was a really nice conversation to you. I am very glad to talk with you. Okay.